If you've ever wanted to spend an intimate evening with Tom Sturridge and Jake Gyllenhaal, well, now's your chance. Because after a sold-out run at the Public Theater, the double bill Seawall A Life is coming to Broadway. Who wants to think about the future when the present is this monumental? Just because we don't know, it doesn't mean we won't know. Two brilliant actors, two separate monologues, one breathtaking play. So Seawall and A Life, can you just explain what goes on when they're gonna come see you on Broadway? I play Abe, who is a musician and who's about to expect really his first child. And so it's his story uh, and all the expectation and all the memories that it brings back of his family and his relationship in particular with his father. Uh, I play a character called Alex, um, who's a photographer with a young family. Uh, it's basically the story of the kind of the creation of that family from the first moment he falls in love with his wife to the birth of his child to kind of the, to throughout her childhood. And it's seen through the prism of these holidays that they take in the south of France with uh, his father-in-law. And so act one and act two. Yes. So I'm yes. just curious, like, what are you guys doing when the other one is on stage? Are you <laughs> watching in the wings? Are you going in the audio? Like, what happens there? We are really oddly a company, even though we don't spend time on stage together. I really love his notes to me from, like, the night before. I've heard Alive 94 times now, and, and, it, and it never fails to astonish me and move me and make me laugh because that you know, that infectious energy of an affection for a piece of work. Like, we do continuously listen to it and want to kind of help push to make all these pieces the best they can possibly be. And if you, like the rest of the internet, can't get enough of Jake singing, you're in luck. Though this time, he'll be solo. Sorry, James Corden. I'm such a fan. I'd love to talk about Spider-Man. Like there will be some singing. At the end, <laughs> really? Wait, wait. I don't want to give too much away, but there is music. I, I do play a musician and uh, and potentially some singing. Now, the last time I spoke to you was for Stronger, and you told me about this gift that you had given Jeff Bowman, yes. which was a beautiful toilet bowl. And then next thing you know, I have this Japanese Toto in my front yard. It's a great toilet. It has a bidet built in. It has a seat warmer. You know, I. I feel like he needed a throne. So I am just curious, <laughs> what, yeah. what, um, what has Jake gotten there, you, Tom? I just wonder why you have to give away the only gift I give to the people that I care about. <laughs> Tom had no idea I until this moment yeah, that I'm like, what yeah. he was getting for opening night gift. I, I I did actually get an extraordinary overnight gift. It, it was a, a day a day trip in, in, that, in, the, in, in, the, spa. in a spa yeah. where you where you float in. So in, in a, a, it's oh, like floating in a, in a really I lovely toilet. To yeah, a large toilet bowl, yeah. I guess. Seawall A Life runs through September 29th at the Hudson Theater.